you did? Yeah. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah. Oh, so I did one too last week. You did? Yeah. Oh, no. Did yeah. you get my good side? You and uh, Zach. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did one TV last week. Okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, that's that's cool. cool. Obviously, that's the side. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Is Hollis back there? Oh, I can feel the cold on you guys. <laughs> hey guys. All right. Hey, well, how you doing? Uh, don't go far, Josh. Don't go far. All right, guys. Well, welcome. Uh, my name is Nick Detterman, I'm director of equipment operations here. Um, so. <laughs> what do I do? Um, a lot. So, um, we're, this is here, before I forget, Josh Martindale, he's our head cadet manager. He's, hey, on the, he's right here. Um, all the head cadet managers going back to 1890. Um, we've got Douglas MacArthur, Ridgeway, I mean, Frank Borman. It's kind of <laughs> some pretty impressive people that were the um, head cadet managers over the years. Here's, here's Hollis. Um, one of our one of our cadet managers, Percy, senior day. Um, so a big day for her, for Josh. Um, these guys, they help set up the locker room. They run practice. They pack the truck. Um, they're working the windows. So when when some when players get here, I come up and see Hollis and say, "Hey, my gloves ripped." She'll open this uh, this up, and as you can see, I mean, it's full of gloves, insert pads, anything that you would issue out to the players um, with a Nike swoosh on it. We have it back there. So that's the equipment room. It's about 7,000 square feet um, of goodies. It looks just like a Nike store in there, um, but that's that's what you need to run a Division One team. All right. So over over on your right, these are little cubbies with numbers on it. So their clean laundry is in there. So whatever they wore the night before for practice, um, games, whatever, we'll wash it, we dry it, and we put it back in their back cubby. So when they come in from class, they'll come through those double. Grab their clean laundry, go to the locker, change, go to practice, watch film, whatever it is. So it's all quick, streamlined, efficient. Hurry up, get from A to B, and so on. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go in the locker room, and we have part of it kind of taped off because you know some groups get a little crazy and they want to they want to go to players' lockers and touch things, and we want to kind of keep it the way it is. So, um, but you guys are feel feel free to take pictures, ask questions. Uh, Hollis and Josh will be out there as well. Um, they've been here for four years uh, as managers, so they know a lot. They can answer questions, but just come on in. Nick, when you go on the road, how many people go with your assistants? Um, we'll be a total of 16 people um, that have equipment. So there, there's a, approximately 170 players on the team, and we're going to dress... Uh, 100? Uh, 100 today. So the, the lockers that have uh, the jerseys on the shoulder pads up top, those guys are dressing today. And if you've been to a game before, you see some guys kind of outside the box wearing black sweats. Those are the guys that are they're on the football team, but they're just not dressing for the game. So we have them on the sideline. You guys can come in here farther too. There's, there's some mannequins over here with a couple different uniforms. We've got like 10 more mannequins upstairs. It's all the same. So that's the guys that are going to stand up. Uh, wait, the squad is guys that do not travel to the hotel with the rest of the team, but they're going to dress. I'm right, right? Dress. They're going to dress for the game. So they stay in the very so one play or they might play. They could. Yeah. Hopefully we're up by so many points yeah. and those guys get away. We had guys that were dressed on sports and sports. Full, full, full <laughs> dress and sweats. <laughs> and going to the in the middle. Yeah. No hotel. Beautiful. Exactly. Oh, that right there? Exactly. They're putting helmets and shoulder pads on. Your and they might go out there. They might play. Exactly. You still have, is, um, is Army still like, like he's number two behind Oregon as far as... Um, Size of so probably not. I mean, that's a really hard question to answer because every contract is so different. Where Oregon just gets millions of dollars and no product, where we get product, a little money. And, yeah, it all depends on what you want to do. Um, so every every team's a little bit different, but we're 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 a top school for sure. How many uniforms do you have? I mean, we. 
you could do many, many, many combinations because we've got you know, four or five jerseys and four or five pants and two helmets. Yeah. So right, right now, um, we want to go with the traditional look of just the black over gold or white over gold, but we can mix in. Yeah, it's a real WWE belt. Oh, right um, that was really awesome. Oh my god. Yeah, it's so cool. Where do you guys come back? Uh, one of the coaches acquired it somehow. Acquired it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. No, no, no. I mean, this right now, Jack Sides has it. He plays um, for a while. Ethan Polly had it for like six weeks in a row. He plays as well. And then Josh had thrown stuff in his locker? Yeah, yeah, yeah probably. Probably. Uh, there's a backup. There's a runner up trophy for Clean Locker of the Week somewhere. Could be more. Um, um, the coaches are here about the same. I mean, I was up this morning to run one What's his name? Okay. Okay. 